Hello everyone, this is Demand Zuzu 8. Here we are back in Civ 5, Brave New Worlds. A prehistoric mod as the Papal States, which is another mod as well. So I'm kind of surprised by the the feedback by this. Is quite a lot of you really love this. And uh, I've decided to listen to what you guys said. Spike Vincent, uh, he said that he wanted both the resource and the yield icons on. And I've tried to fix this. I think it's the prehistoric mod. I don't know why it's causing it, but it is. So I guess I just have to deal with it. Alright, let's click next turn. So if you guys want me to do something, you know, just comment and I'll do it. I mean, I guess you guys do need physical proof of me doing it first, so here it is. Yeah, I will reply to every single comment that you guys put out there. And I will listen and read it. So... Oh yeah, if you guys want me to let you listen to the whole of that, I'll be sure to do it. So long as you guys want me to. But for me, I've listened to it so many times. I don't feel like I need to anymore. You guys probably understand how it is. Yep, work on that. Alright. New research... What shall we do? We got almost everything that we need. Lumber mill, not really. Let's do philosophy. Yeah, that's pretty important. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot of religion. Now we just need to get our culture up, which, if we're going for religion, it shouldn't be too hard. Now that I think about it, I could have done the plantations for culture thing. That could have really helped me, because look at all the plantations I could have made. I forgot that there was that pantheon, so that's a lack of forethought on my part. But What are you going to do? Ah, crap. So I'm really going to have to stop what I'm doing here. That's annoying. Alright, you can stay there. Start clearing up some land. Yeah, there's a lot out here that I could get. I, maybe I should get a scout and explore the true extent. Oh, I got some iron. Oh, for a second I thought this is an iron mine. That would have been amazing to start off with. Alright, let's come on. Let's go shoot these guys up. Let's go clear up this place. Is there any nearby iron? I don't think there is. That's kind of sad because iron is very, very useful. But I guess what you do, what you have to do. All right, let's go over here and let's let's start the road. Let's start a road to uh, Benevento. Yeah, they got some good, good tiles. Which is sick. Like, look at all these great tiles they have over here. The two sugar, all these river land. Yeah, they, they got some great spawns. Look at all that. The stone. I, I didn't get anywhere near this. That good of a spawn. Uh, I could do this. You know what? I'd be stupid if I didn't do this. Let's do it. That way I can make it cheaper. <laughs> yep, let's just all keep it there. Uh, I, it says Raging Barbarians is not on. Ever since Brave New World really came out, Barbarian spawns have been ridiculous. They've been extreme, to say the least. Ooh, yeah. I have to wait till 300 to get a next. Uh, great person, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I do need a library, however, so that is a big deal. You know, I have an interesting choice here. I could try including the river right here. I would 
get this tile if you want to see. Let me show. Should I do the hex grid? Yeah. So I could get right here, which would give me access to these bananas, the sugar, the horses, uh, the sheep as well. But won't give me the iron. Or I could put it here, and I'd get everything but the river, really. So that is the choice we have. If it was six iron, I might be tempted to do that, but it's not six iron. So I'll put it here, another city down there. Once we get another one. Right now, my happiness cannot contain that. Right now. Um, we have some choices here. Let's go get a granary. I like. Can we add to that. You know what? No. I want a trireme and I want a scout. I got enough population growth. What I don't have is scout, caravan, and settler. We need to get some units going. So scout is first, caravan, and then settler. See? That's not so bad. I'm still number one in score because I just... Because I've been wonder whoring. That's what I've been doing. I've been taking all the, the really powerful religious wonders. Ooh, I already got those over here. I need to get some work boats as soon as I'm ready. Still the BC, but I'm pretty sure the Papal States were around in 1575 BC. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, you auto explore. I don't really like dealing with scouts unless I really have to. Um, no. I'm not going to war. <laughs> Mickey Mouse wants me to go to war. <laughs> I guess we just have to deal with that. I don't really like that. I, I'm going to guess it's the prehistoric one. It's not been really updated as much as it should be. There is an update available, but that's still not been updated as well as it could. So I'm going to guess it's caused some conflict problems. And that's the result of it. Which, considering all conflict problems that it could be, I would accept this. Oh, yes! Sweet. Great profit. Enhance my religion. So, we got them spices. We got jungle. I don't want to mess the jungle. Jungle could be a lot of science later. Second, shrines? Or... What can we do? Monasteries might be interesting. Mosques would be pretty good too. Should I do? Mosques. Religious community. Or. This gives me faith and culture and happiness. Mosques. Missionary zeal. Religion spreads 25% faster. I think I like religious texts. Too bad about the Byzantines, but enhance my religion to. Yep. There we are. So let's go set this to pagodas first. Pagodas are amazing. Whoever gets pagodas first, generally, like whoever gets pagodas, generally have the best religion. Probably the first people get it, because they give two happiness, two culture, two faith. That's a pretty good building. Mosques are second best, I, I say, because the prerequisite for uh, cathedrals is just too ridiculous. It's too ridiculous. I, I can't afford that. Oh, these hand axes, they are the worst. That's the worst thing I hate about this. See, if it was just a normal unit, I'd be fine with the fact that it's a hand axe. I hate hand axes. Because the 
they do they do a lot of damage and they don't really have too many oh no no you don't I know what you're trying to go for no you don't I know exactly what you're trying to go for you would be interesting if this is a like a better trade you'd see completely protected that might actually be possible here that might be interesting if it is like a Mediterranean Sea, I want to completely surround it, because that's awesome. I've played this game so many times that I honestly don't feel like playing Mid Max. I want to feel like playing what's is fun, what is cool. You know how it is. Barbarian encampment discovered. Um, what happened? <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Oh, I can't. Uh, United States, what brings you? That you don't have any money. How about Montezuma? He's got all the iron. Of course he does, you know. Of course he does. He's got all the iron. It looks like we don't have a Mediterranean Sea type. Oh, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, is there anything I could do to lower the cost? I don't think there is. Ah, I'll have to see. This is the worst part. I can't cut back my military that much. I have to go into science. Science is very hard to make up once you've lost a little bit of it. Alright. Dip heal. Oh boy. I don't know if I can survive that many more turns. What was all that cash I had before? Philosophy. Huh. Oh, so we got pearls there, pearls. We got pearls everywhere. Is this an inland sea? That would be interesting. Alright. Let's do construction just so I got better archers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hard working, horseback riding, drama and poetry, and theology. Yep, that should be good. Burr, 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 burr. I hate it when, like, Bautica gets this and, and they keep on trying to convert your lands. And you can't be like, yo, stop doing that. It's the worst. I, that's the best I can do. Try to survive. Oh, man, it makes me look so weak. That's just how it is. What I can do is this. I don't care, Sanzibar. Why won't you let me click? There. See, that helps. All right. Now I can survive. I forgot about this, but... Eh. Who's really counting? 
All right. Vagina Kara. So now I get a free great person meritocracy. Let's do it. All right. Choose a free great person. We can have a lot of options. Let's see. Is there any wonders? The Oracle would be great. You know what? It's so, such a great idea that I actually want it now. I hope no one gets it right now. Great engineer. Go. There we go. We get the great oracle. Yep. Let's take you there. Make a farm. Yeah, they might be screwed. United States looks like to be the aggressor here. They got marble. Wow, they got some great city locations. My land is really not that valuable. Yeah, they would have got this if I hadn't rushed it. <laughs> not happening. Not today. Plantations could be free social policy. And now we're going to get Petey. Alright. Plus one faith. What we want is this. Theocracy. Temples and holy sites. See, temples increase the city's gold output by 25%. This, incredibly valuable. And then reformation, which gives you some great abilities. Like being able to buy any great person with faith. Very valuable. And that's how we're going to get a bunch of wonders. I'm just going to buy great engineers. And whenever I'm losing money, I'll just get great merchants with faith. Remember when I said that people undervalue religion in this game? This is why. It can easily be one of the most useful resources. Uh, establish a trade route to Mumbai. Uh, I would rather do Delhi. So let me go change home city to Ponte Corvo and see if I can get something with Delhi because that'd be more valuable. I can survive one more turn, so. Oh yeah, I need to move you before you become a problem. All right. Oh, wow. America did pretty well. That was quick. I think America is over here, isn't it? They're probably over there. Who is this? Hey, Lord William of the Netherlands. I am Willem van Oranje, Stadthouder over the Nederlanden. You need something. There is still much to do. Uh, what I want to do is I want to trade with you, Great Prince. Let's accept some embassies. Outstaking. Uh, no, not not anything else. All right. It's always weird to listen to your native language in this game. <laughs> All right, Delhi. Yes. Ah, oh, that's exactly what I need. Better run, Mr. Fist Man. That didn't sound right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue. Alright, so... Oh my goodness, the Netherlands is rich. Uh, Rotterdam is here, and... Is this Amsterdam? They must be very rich. Yep, and the city connection was made. Okay. 
All right. You just heal right there. Good. They've adopted Catholicism. The true religion of the world. Um. Nope, you have fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to mess with you. America is on you. I might actually... I could go attack Mumbai. So I could go clear up this land for myself. Look at that. So here's Ur and Sands of... Oh my goodness. This is an inland sea. Look at that. You know, this made this so cool that I actually want to settle a city here. Yeah, I want to settle a city here. Man, I didn't expect that to see an inland sea. Those are pretty rare, especially ones so big. They have pearls in it. Yeah, let's get some production. You, you stick still. And you, I want you to build a road to Ponte Corvo. Wait, no, no, not there. I'm not building a road there. Sometimes the AI auto road build. Sometimes they move, sometimes they don't. Alright, waiting for the barbarians to move. Thank you, Quebec. I wonder if there's any Canadians who watch my videos. If you're Canadian, please say something. That'd be awesome. Alright. Oh my, it's just begging to be settled. Look at it. It's begging. It's so valuable. So valuable. I need to do it. I, I can't handle it. Oh god, my happiness will not be able to handle that. But it's begging. Look at it. The pearls shine to me with glorious essence and beauty. They need it. They need me. And I need them. Oh. And there's a rip. It's such a good location! Oh, I might regret this, but I need this. I need it. I need it! This fish. Alright. I wonder how far this guy could explore. It looks like there's a little island here that might be nice, especially the whales. Look, there's just so many pearls around here. Oh, I'm the most progressive out of all of us. Look at that. So, I, I don't know about this continent that we have here, but it seems to be rather unique. And they cleared the road for us. Isn't that nice? Chicago. I don't know how low on the list that is, but they must have quite a few buildings. Uh, not building cities. Alright, Netherlands. Where do you think you're going, mister? Uh, the music in this game, it's rather excellent, if I do say. I want to get that custom soundtrack they made for this Civ. That was really good. Um, culture, shrine, monuments, library. Uh, that granary, I think that's a good, good combo. 
Gonna get another river delta with a river there. Ah, oh, such a good city location. All right, so what's just got into the class square? Automatic faith purchase. Pagoda, yes, good job, pagodas. Those be quite a few. Oh, look at all. They got some really great land here. The silver, the cotton, the stone. Yeah, it looks like the Netherlands got it. They got it made. Alright. Shoes production. I think it has to be a church. No Coliseum first. Then circus, then barracks, then palisade. Oh, I could go upgrade my bowman. <laughs> ah, I'm being a bit ambitious. Uh, monument, yeah. And then church. And then maybe. Maybe a settler. I really do love my settlers. I want my papal states to be nice and strong. Alright. Oh wow. Yeah, they got they got it made. <laughs> Netherlands is very... Maybe they'll actually survive. I've never seen a Netherlands like truly thrive in my Civ games. And that's almost 500 hours, speaking of experience. I never really see them survive. Of course, I'm always the winner in my games, so maybe that's why. Okay. Where do you think you're going? We go correct this uh this barbarian of what proper conduct is. Yeah, it's like a, a little desert island up here. It's like it's like the Great Britain up here. Yeah, the like this is Ireland. This is the north the West Isles of Scotland. Oh with the the marble. And Milan! Look at that. Who would have expected such an interesting map? Little Milan, next to Tundra. Um. Do nothing. Yeah, now I can actually afford a military. Isn't that interesting? Alright. Now they both get a little bit of experience. Yep. Delhi's trading with me. I'm trading with Delhi. Or India. This is a good situation all around. So I, I could have a couple decisions of what I could do. Oh, what are you doing? And they got iron and stuff. I mean, I got nothing. Heal you up. Make you alert. Not much else I can do, I'm afraid. Yeah, I want to keep the jungle tiles alone. Get some 
Can I make trading posts? Yes, I can. I can't put that there. Oh, no, that's a guild. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Let's make some mines then. Over here. Yeah, I did not get a, a, ri a starting river delta here. In Roma, which is a little unfortunate, but. Yeah, man, this is awesome. This map is interesting. Every once in a while, you get these maps that are not like anything else you ever have. Huh. Oh, look at that. I thought for a second it was a worker. I'm like, what? How did you get there over already? Oh, yes, my glorious road network. That way, I can keep my happiness up. Uh, too bad these are not like floodplains, which gives you a lot of food. But still, river, grassland, very good. Alright everyone, I think that's been enough for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.